Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly webcast planning meeting. Last week was really good. What do you guys have this week? Let's get some ideas going. Why don't we just do like a rerun of cops, but we like follow the security guards around. Raf, a good idea. Uh, I like the show Cops, but if Alfredo falls down the stairs on video one more time, he might get seriously hurt. You know, he's getting he's getting kind of old. Uh, what else do we have? Yo, how about we put cameras on the mice and they go around the media center and see what they do? Mm. Yeah, I like that, but I don't think we have the technology quite yet. How about we do what, 20 minutes of all pranks? Uh, video pranks, too close to Logan Paul. Sorry. Okay, so we all know about keeping up with the Kardashians, but how about keeping up with Tywee Turner? Because he's the guy. Ooh, a story about Tywee's life? That's more of a movie, not a webcast. What about review the meals on the cafeteria from one star to five stars? Uh, Melissa, that's pretty good, but let's see what else we have. Uh, Nia? You know how we have a music listening club? We should have teachers review modern music. Great idea, as always. We're going to get to the music listening in a second. But first, some news. Come audition for student-written one-act Titanical, the musical, on March 5th and 6th in the choir room after school. Please prepare a verse and chorus from a song written between the 1920s and the 1970s, as well as a short monologue. For the yearbook, seniors keep checking in to the media center to approve your photos. We have lots of signatures, but not all of them. The second draft of senior photos will be on display next week. Soul Fest is on Wednesday, February 21st. It's open to all performers, singers, dancers, poets, and more. We also need fashion models or people who want to help with the show. See Miss Crystal Spring if you are interested. We're back. It's Black History Month, and we're going to talk about some more historical figures that you may not know about. Today, I'm going to talk about Octavia Butler. She was an American science fiction writer. She began writing on her typewriter at 10 years old and became a winner of both the Hugo and Nebula Awards. In 1995, she became the first science fiction writer to receive the MacArthur Fellowship. She helped establish and define the genre known as Afrofuturism. Vanessa Williams is a singer, actress, and fashion designer. She was the first African-American Miss America, winning the crown in 1983. Black women had only been allowed in the competition since 1950. Vanessa showed that black girls are beautiful too, that they can hold the titles of beautiful, smart, and strong. They wear crowns too. Hey, we're back with Sign of the Week, and this week we have some Valentine's Day signs for you. This is how you sign Happy Valentine's Day. One more time. And we have one more sign for you, and that will be You're My Sweetheart. Can you show us, Poppy? One more time. And now you know a few Valentine's signs. Catch you next week. I'm Matt. Uh, I'm Eli. We're from IB Music. Uh, yeah, and we were just in the uh, music listening contest. We got third. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we wanted to bring our experience back. Uh, we listened to a lot of music that day, and so we wanted to share some some modern tunes with some of the teachers and have them kind of analyze it like we did with classical music yeah we think we're pretty good uh, let's see how good the teachers are yeah i'm feeling this yeah this is really good it's really nice tattoo as well right on the forehead i might need to think about getting my own little sword tattoo on my forehead too He's really good at counting all the way up to eight. That's really impressive. Uh, I give this a solid, let's say, three out of ten. It's Little Pump. 
is the artist though, right? And he's got an ooh, he's got a look that I really don't appreciate. Those face tattoos, the neck tattoos. Ooh. Uh, he's got talent, but he refuses to really give it up. It's like he's holding back because he just wants to look so cool. And he's trying too hard. Super catchy, I guess. It would... 6 out of 10. Okay. Welcome back to another Magnificent Miller. Let's see who won this week. Ames Jones for integrity. Ames turned in a lost cell phone. Magnificent Millers always turn in lost cell phones. Great job. Good job. Wait, was that an iPhone X? Cause I think that was mine. The Staff of the Week Award is a long tradition here at Washburn High School. Passed from staff member to staff member, this is reserved for the best of the best. Congrats! How do you feel to win the Staff of the Week? Oh, I'm very honored, my goodness. Surprised. <laughs> So do I put it out One, two, three, four. Washburn Weekly Webcast. Weekly Webcast. 